I have a few videos on my channel talking about Tim Burton's live action version of Dumbo, but I've only just realised that I've never actually talked about Dumbo, the original Disney classic itself. And on the one hand, that surprises me because I've talked about pretty much every other Disney film, but at the same time, it doesn't surprise me because I'm not the biggest fan of Dumbo. But interestingly, it is visually one of my favourite Disney films. The narrative, not so much, but there are some visual aspects of this. Mainly Dumbo when he has the face paint on that have stuck with me since childhood. And for that reason, I kind of love it, but also have a very distant relationship with it. It's very peculiar. The film itself was released in 1941. And certainly it was a success then and generally seem to be very well reviewed. There are certain stereotypes in this that are not great, that have not withstood the test of time, but generally speaking it did well at the time and it's obviously now one of Disney's most classic films. And it tells the story of a Dumbo, a Dumbo, an elephant called Dumbo. Well his nickname is Dumbo because he's kind of gaily and he has these giant ears that kind of you know, causing problems when he moves, but actually he's able to fly because of these ears, which is a fabulous thing. And there's a beautiful song, He Can Fly, which I absolutely love. And well, there are some other songs as well that are heartbreaking. I think the, the, the most heartbreaking song in this, um, most beautiful as well, is Baby Mine. I think it's one of the most beautiful songs in any Disney film and it just, it gets me. It's sung by Betty Noyes um, as Dumbo's mother and it's just absolutely beautiful. But the main point of the narrative is that we have this circus with these elephants and Dumbo is obviously travelling with this circus and he's got the opportunity to become very famous. And things don't exactly go to plan and things go pretty bad for Dumbo pretty quickly and it gets really heartbreaking and that also affects his ability to be with his mother and it seems like the only friend Dumbo now has in the world is this little mouse called Timothy. I love Timothy. I think Timothy's quite an underrated character um, and it's very unclear what the future holds for Dumbo and of course I don't want to say too much more than that. But it is stunning and there is no reason why I don't watch it nowadays. Um, I have of course revisited for this but in general I don't watch it nowadays that frequently because it's just it's too emotional and I don't watch interestingly the films I watched most as a child are the ones that upset me the most so uh, Lion King, Fox and the Hound, ones that I kind of avoid watching too frequently nowadays because they're too upsetting but this one is just stunning there are some important lessons of course about being careful who you bully and if you're bullied for something maybe that's actually your asset use it to your advantage it is stunning there are as i, as I said some songs that really stand out to me such as baby mine and um he can fly i'm not entirely sure that's what it's called when i see an elephant fly the pink elephants on parade is slightly eerie, um, but I like it. I like it a lot, and it's visually my fav one of my favourite Disney films. The animation, the way it's animated, the soft colours, the soft lines, the bright circus colours. Um, it's just beautiful, gorgeous, visually absolutely stunning. And as I said, I'm surprised on that for that reason that I haven't discussed it before. But again, it is upsetting. Um, I don't watch it that frequently. Um, but I do have a soft spot for it and it does remind me reminds me a lot of my childhood. Apparently there was going to be a sequel at the start of the 21st century but that never happened. I think I like the fact that it's a popular Disney film for which they haven't tried to do a sequel. I think it works very well on its own. It's beautifully done, some gorgeous bits of animation. I think it will always race, race, racial issues aside, I think it will generally always be a really popular, beautifully animated film.